down here courtside, just ready to go here at the Augusta Civic Center. I'm here with Coney coach Paul Vachon. Coach playing the 3 o'clock game just across the river. Do you think that's any advantage for you getting over here early? <laughs> I don't know about that. I, we've never played a 3 o'clock game, but uh, it's certainly a new experience for us. And, you know, we're going to give it the best shot. Coach, you come in here uh, with, with two seniors who have been outstanding for you all year. You've just reloaded here, but those girls have a lot of responsibility for what happened to you this year. Yes, they do. Uh, they came back with the only two returning players. We lost Chelsea, obviously, with a uh, knee injury. And what they've been able to do as far as the senior leadership is probably some of the best leadership I've had in my you know, 30 years of coaching. Coach, what is it that tickles you most about what's happened to you so far this year? I, I think they're... The, captain's ability to get these younger players to believe in themselves and in the roles that the younger players have you know uh, accepted and uh, to go 16 and 2 and be where in the position where I am I, I can't ask for better and of course we're talking about Shelby Pelkey and Rachel Mack the two girls that have played through the system and just grabbed the younger kids right by the bootstraps up we go this is Coney basketball this is how we do it well not only that but they accepted their leadership that they had to produce more and a lot of times it's a very difficult thing to do, and, they, and they've and they raised their game, and raised, you know, and I've asked them, they had to be more of a scorers, and they've done that, and implementing the younger kids, done an outstanding job. Thanks, Paul, for being with us. Talk to you after the game. And we'll have more today from the Augusta Civic Center. Just keep checking in to Central Maine Newspapers online.